Alan. All right. Great ball in. Sterling finishes. Manchester City finally have broken the deadlock. Have broken the resistance of Everton. And the dark side of City has come out to play. Oh, brilliant from Cancelo. That is beautiful. Outside of the foot. You won't see many better passes than that all season. Oh, almost perfect delivery. Alan. Oh, Rodri! Oh! That is sensational! Rodri! The Spaniard with a screamer! That is absolutely ridiculous! Whew. The number 16! You need 16 goalkeepers in there to save that! That is ridiculous! That is a rocket! That is in a different stratosphere! That is top bins! Top class! That's hit with venom! That's hit with cruel intentions! And Manchester City have doubled their lead! Double the quality, double the standards. You just have to sit and admire those kinds of goals. That is absolutely sensational. Walk into Sterling. Oh, has he missed that? How has Raheem Sterling missed that? He scores the opportunity earlier. First time finish off a beautiful Cancelo ball. That one comes in, the square to him, and he can't finish it. Gundogan. It's a Palmer. Left foot in charge. Oh, he comes all the way down. And there you go. The job is done. Bernardo Silva makes it three. It's done. The game is over. It was over anyway. It was a formality anyway. Bernardo Silva to tap it home for Manchester City. Three goals, three points. That's it. Second in the table. Manchester City win 3 0. Anyone surprised? <laughs> Manchester City just dominated possession. Everton were passengers in the game, really, aside from one or two came to attacks that didn't really amount to anything. Man City could have scored five or six. Rodri's goal was the highlight of it for me. If you watch the highlights of the game, this is what you're watching it for. That goal in particular. City looked comfortable in the Prem again. This is a dangerous proposition for everybody else because Man City are... Man City. They've been a force to be reckoned with in the past five years in the Premier League, but they look like they're comfortable again. They're back to winning ways. They're back to playing football the way that they want to, and they can whip your ass if they want to, or they can just comfortably control the game and just get maybe one or two if they want to. Whatever they decide to do to you, Man City are going to do to you. It's a four-horse race for the Premier League title going into December, which is a very tough period, as we know, for the Premier League team, so it should spice things up. It should really heat up the title race. But I say four because everyone keeps going on about the three that are at the top, you know, Chelsea, Man City and Liverpool, but West Ham is still there as well, so don't, don't forget about them. Fair play Manchester City at home, another dominant performance against the Benitez Everton, who are struggling right now. But yeah, fair play to City.